Hey you, welcome to the Christian Life Coaching Podcast for Weight Loss. I'm so excited that you are here. Hey you, and welcome to the podcast. Today I want to share with you a thought I had. As I was engaging with one of my clients in the Seekers Method, and she was sharing, you know, one of her struggles and how she was just, you know, she was having a hard time. I mean, she was going through Christmas and all the temptations were there and all of the things. And and so we were all just kind of, you know, chatting about our Christmas experience and the temptations and the things that we overcame and the things that we really had to fight through. And I caught myself thinking about how you know, if I could, if there's anything I wish I could do, it's that I wish I had the ability, it's going to sound weird, but I, let me see if I can articulate this. I wish I could share with you more completely who I was when I first set out on my weight loss journey and how much I struggled. Because if that were the case, if I could show you completely who I was and how much I struggled, you would really, you would be filled with so much hope because you would see where I am now versus where I was when I began and how I set out, you know, initially on my weight loss journey and started laying down the world and started seeking God instead of a number on the scale. And I did all of these things and I did a complete about face in my life and how I have become transformed. You would see the woman that I used to be and the difference with the woman that I am now, right? You see like, okay, so before when I couldn't lose weight, before God, I should say, I couldn't do a single thing like, well, at all. Like I was so horribly bad at being consistent. I had no persistence. I had no endurance. I had no willpower. I had, I had no self-discipline, right? I was a really good and chronic quitter. Can anybody relate to this? (laughs) I had all sorts of bad habits and I had so many good excuses. And I remember I remember how much I thought my excuses were like legitimate reasons, right? And I lived completely consumed by all of my terrible results to the point of being depressed, to the point of feeling overcome by my weight loss journey and how I could not change. I know so many of you have, you know, you've already heard my testimony, my testimony of how how I prayed to God and I asked him to show me the weight loss plan that would work for me. And that's when everything changed for me. I mean, it was at that time, like, I guess I just want to go there for a second. It was at that time when I kind of just came to the end of myself and I finally prayed and asked, asked God for help. It was at that time that I, that I began to receive the help that I had been looking for. And it started to be in a different way. It was spiritual guidance and help more than in the ways that I was looking for it physically. Like when I first started, I was like this chronic yo-yo dieter. I was a diet hopper. I was a diet collector. I had just shelves and shelves of books of all of the programs. I was leading small Facebook groups of the cabbage soup diet and we were losing, you know, 11 to 15 pounds in one week. And then, you know, we stopped, we thought we'd arrived at weight loss and then, you know, I'd gained 15 pounds after that, right? I tried every single diet and most of them worked. And then I thought, oh, I lost the weight. Great. Life is fantastic. And then I just go back to gaining it, right? Like I didn't know that I had to be on a health and wellness journey, that as I got older, my hormones would be a factor, that I had to have a lifestyle that would be conducive to not only losing weight and being successful at weight loss and understanding what to do, when to do it, because the timing of it matters. I didn't understand that I had to live that kind of life and then learn how to do all of the right things so that I could maintain my weight loss. I mean, before, when I was doing it of my own accord, by my own strength, before God, I relied, I should say, I I succumbed heavily to my thoughts and feelings, right? I could, I remember doing so well on my weight loss journey. Like I would do so wonderful. I would do so well for a couple of weeks or maybe even a couple of months. And then one stressful thing would happen, right? Because at that time I was in corporate America and I had three little kids, something horrible would happen. And it wouldn't be horrible. It would be something like, you know, uh, my you know, one of my projects missed a deadline or um, we had to get a group of engineers to fix a problem on a server. And it meant that we all had to work extra on a Friday or a Saturday. And it was really stressful. And I had a really demanding, you know, director of a project team. And so I, you know, I would just have to, and so it was just that life kind of stuff. 
And that was the kind of thing that would throw me off course. Or somebody would say something and I would read between the lines and I would project things. And, and then I would just all of a sudden, you know, succumb to my thoughts and my feelings and worry and doubt and fear and all of those things. And I would come home and, you know, just turn to alcohol right? That's who I used to be. And it would be, it would take a little thing like that to throw me off course, to take what I had done so wonderfully over the course of, you know, two or three months or two or three weeks, and it would throw me off course. But that's not who I am now. Who I am now is a completely different person. And I know I can't go back and show you my journey, but I think it's encouraging for people to hear about it right? The coach that you see within me now, the woman that I am now, that's not who I, that's not who I used to be. I used to not be this woman. I used to not have this strength. My strength now is spiritual, right? I, back then I was desperate for leadership, but you know, the funny thing, like, even as I say that, like, as I say, I was desperate for leadership. <clears throat> the truth is I was desperate for leadership, but I did not like to be led. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy, right? I just wanted, I just wanted weight loss to happen, right? I wanted to be able to eat my cake. I wanted to be able to lay on the couch. I wanted, um, to wake up skinny. I wanted to be able to drink alcohol. I wanted all of the things. I just wanted life to be easy and weight loss never came easily. And it never, it never, I don't want to say it never became easy until I learned how to stop, until I learned how to become stronger, until I learned how to stop leading myself by my flesh, leading my life based upon my feelings where I would succumb to every cookie sitting on the counter, right? I had to crucify my desire for things to just be easy. I had to surrender my prideful ways that kept me from wanting to be in control all the time. And instead I had to learn how to walk in my spirit of self-control, right? That's something I say to my clients all the time. I'm like, you know what? God didn't give you a spirit of control. He gave you a spirit of self-control. That was one of the hardest lessons for me to learn. I had to learn how to stop trusting Sherry, who was led by her five senses, and instead learn how to trust God in my spiritual sense, learn how to trust God despite my circumstances and how to walk by faith instead of perpetually walking by my every circumstance, right? Life is full of circumstances. You're always going to have temptation. You're always going to have bad days. You're always going to have stress. You're always going to have somebody giving you the eye. You're always going to have somebody saying something and you thinking it means something else. You're always going to have overwhelm. You're always going to have all of these things. Until you learn to go to God and to partner with him and to yoke with him, you are not going to be strong enough to do all of this on your own. And that's exactly what I had to do. I had to stop being mastered by my flesh. I had to stop giving in to my, you know, my five physical senses, senses perpetually because they mastered me. And then eventually I learned how to be led by the Holy Spirit. I learned how to yield to the Holy Spirit. And so when I think back, you know, like I said, I don't have this entire journey documented to encourage you and to inspire you and to show you what God will do for you. But as I look back and I see, you know, my experience, my journey, as I was writing the Seekers Method, like as I, as it was unfolding and God was giving birth to it through me, little by little, God strengthened me and through like every single adversity that I went through. And little by little, he showed me how to humble myself. Little by little, he showed me how to recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit and to practice yielding to him so that I could be spirit led. And little by little, I became stronger spiritually. I became stronger emotionally. And then I became stronger physically. And that's, that's when weight loss happened. And not only is that when weight loss happened, but it's where I became strong enough to maintain my weight loss. And now like, so many of my clients have experienced this for themselves. I mean, I have all of these testimonials of women who have worked with me over the last five years who have shared that they've lost anywhere from, oh dear, um, 15 to 90 pounds. I mean, that just blows my mind. I mean, women have shared with me how the Seekers Method is so much more to them it's so much more than just a weight loss program. It's a life gain program. I mean, women have said, Sherry, I had no idea how much this was going to affect me elsewhere in my life. Right? Like, and I, 
you know, even as I say that, I'm thinking to myself, of course it is, right? Because God used me to write a Christian life coaching for weight loss program. Of course, he's going to make it be about life gain, right? Because when you gain your life in Christ, you're going to find within you all that you need in the power of the spirit to do what you need to do physically in order to have the life that he has destined for you to live. I mean, that's not anything I could have done. There's no way when I set out on this journey as, as a, you know, a woman in corporate America with a business degree and a technology, certified technology project manager, there's no way I could have written the program, the seekers method that I went on to write. I mean, I'm at the point now where on a weekly basis, clients, <clears throat> they send me photographs of their before and after testimonials. And you know, I work with the most precious and courageous and amazing women. And a lot of times, a lot of times they will post their before and after photos and then they'll just tag me in them. And every time they do this, I'm, I'm just like absolutely blown away. I mean, I had no idea this is, this was going to be a part of my life, right? I mean, like I said, I have, I, I was brought up in a, in a, you know, certain way to have a college degree and I have a business management degree and a certified, you know, technology project manager. And I was in corporate America and I was leading these million dollar corporate technology projects. I never knew any of this was possible. And now women share their testimonials with me all the time about how on their weight loss journey, God has not only transformed their lives, but like he's even transformed their husband's lives. Their husbands have actually lost weight because they, as the women were, you know, on their weight loss journey, the husbands were either inspired by their wives <laughs> or had no choice, right? But then to like eat what their wives were cooking. You get what I'm saying. And you know, a lot of times, well, like I even want to share this with you, like at the time that I'm recording this. I'm planning to lead my family in 2024 on a health and wellness journey where, you know, my husband and I, as we are entering the second half of our lives, we're in our fifties now, we're going to start strength training, right? I, some of you have heard I signed up in Beachbody and I'm on ramping myself to start lifting weights. Do I want to? No, but you know what? I don't want to go into the second half of my life with bone density problems. I don't want to go into the second half of my life being skinny, like being skinny fat, right? Like where I am skinny, but I have all of this fatty, you know, tissue in my organs and I don't have strength in my muscles. I want to have strength in my muscles. I mean, we're in our fifties and I am determined that my husband and I are not only going to finish our lives strong, but we're going to inspire and encourage our children. And I just, I never knew that I would be at this point in my life. In fact, you know, I'm looking right now at my phone where I received even another testimonial from another one of my clients. This is what she said. She said, the work that I've been doing in the Seekers Method and my desire to obey and to be disciplined is now allowing me to trust God <clears throat> more completely in other challenging areas of my life. She goes on to say that trusting God, believing Him, and obeying Him has now become a habit. My dedication to weight loss and relying on Him for my health journey is just rolling over into other life decisions. That's amazing. She says that for the first time, I've noticed that I'm resting in Him. I'm being still, and I'm I'm knowing that he is God as I wait. And I believe that he has my best interest in mind and that he is working all things together for my good, even in weight loss. You know, other things that, another testimonial as I scroll through, through here, other things that women share with me are things like, um, Sherry, this is the first time in my life around the Christmas holiday season that I can honestly say, not only have I lost weight and I've lost the desire for all of the sugary sweets, but I've also lost my desire for alcohol. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She says specifically, I no longer drink my favorite wine the way that I used to on a near daily basis. Girl, I can relate to that. She says, in fact, for Christmas, I received a bottle of my favorite wine in it from a dear friend and it is still sitting on the kitchen counter. Neither myself nor my husband have any desire for it. I'm absolutely blown away that this is where I am, am after having only worked with you for, for a few short months. You guys, that's not anything that I can do. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Another client just uploaded her before and after photos where she shared this testimonial with her friends of her own accord, of her own volition on her social media page. She says, this is my before and after picture. I love when I can see the comparison and I notice just how far I've come since I started doing the work. Oh, I see. She says, I started first with doing the comeback, followed by the seekers method. And now I am just maintaining good habits and using everything that I learned that Sherry taught me in both of these programs daily. I have lost 30 pounds between these two photos. Oh my goodness. And her photo is amazing. It's just a photo of her face, but you can see everything in it. She finishes by saying, I'm doing this for my health. You know, her transformation is amazing. In fact, here's another one. Another client, um, oh, this woman. Yeah, this woman, she and I just did, I offered in November and December, I did these 15 minute free weight loss calls. And in November, I gave her a free 15 minute weight loss consultation. And she took to her own Instagram page. She uploaded a photograph of her abdomen where she showed a picture of her pants being way too big. And she showed, uh, she commented next to the photo. She said, I finally made it to my goal weight. I lost 25 pounds through spiritual disciplines, intermittent fasting, and the meal plan that I had chosen. Thank you, Sherry Capilla, for encouraging me to lose those last 25 pounds. That is amazing. And this is from women who are of a certain age. In fact, you know what? It just I just remembered something. <clears throat> At the end of this podcast, I'm going to upload an audio from one of um, my Zoom calls where I do bi-weekly coaching. When you sign up to work with me in the Seekers Method, I do bi-weekly coaching where we come together as a group um, during our, um, well, every other week we come together on a Zoom and we do group coaching or we do master classes. And one of my clients shared her amazing weight loss testimonial. And I'm going to tag that at the end of this episode. Okay. Another client of mine just sent me this message where she said, I definitely want to continue in, uh, continue with the seekers method into the new year. I'm currently down 25 pounds since I started working with you in September, Sherry. Oh my goodness. The other thing is I remember this lady. Oh, she's so amazing. She lost 13 pounds when we did a five week fast at the beginning of December. Yeah, you know what? I teach fasting. I teach women to condition their bodies to fast over the course of many, many days. And I teach them how to fast in a healthy way. We're not talking starvation. We, I teach them how to condition their bodies and then I give them a weight loss toolbox so that they can start to live this way. Because there's something about fasting. Not only is it spiritual and emotional, but it's also physical. But there's something about fasting that um, scared me when I first began until God. So, and here's the truth about what I know about fasting. When you time your meals, that's really what I call it because it's really all about timing your meals. When you time them, your meals in a certain way, you prepare your body first physically, and then you prepare your mind emotionally, and then you prepare your heart spiritually. And when you do it this way, in the exact way that I teach you in the Seekers Method, it becomes so easy. And you start to find this natural rhythm of your body and you're enabled, like you're actually enabled to do what you maybe previously couldn't do, such as fasting, because your hormones begin to balance out. And so many of my clients have done fasting with me over the years, and they've learned to use the tools that I show them how to use so that they can take them with them for the rest of their lives. All right, I'm going to take a really quick commercial break, and I'll be right back. Hey you, if you've been thinking about working with me in the Seekers Method, this is your opportunity. The next round of the Seekers Method begins on January the 8th of 2024 and enrollment starts on the 1st of January. We will be starting our journey together on the 8th and I will take you all the way through April the 20th. I want you to, I want you to think about where you could be by April of 2024 if you were to step out of your comfort zone, if you were to learn from a certified Christian life coach for weight loss how to appropriate your faith and and how to live in the power of the Holy Spirit within you. I have a client who just shared a testimonial with me about her 70 pound weight loss journey. And in this testimonial, she said that she used to be stagnant in mediocrity and that she is now a new person that she is now the new person that Christ created her to become. That is power. God is no respecter of people. What he has done for me, what he has done for my clients 
He can do for you as well. There are many different ways that you can work with me in the Seekers Method. You could be a part of the group coaching program. You could be a part of the Facebook community and do Seek the Seekers Method Light. Or pretty soon, you could even do the personal journey version of the Seekers Method. If you get the Seekers Method personal journey, this is where you and your best friend could do the Seekers Method and you could start at any time at your leisure when you want to. No more waiting for when I open up enrollment three times a year. So to learn more, visit my website, sherrycapilla.com for more information. Now back to the show. I have loved working with every single woman I've ever had an opportunity to work with in the Seekers Method and even my, you know, my proximity VIP clients. And each of them has left such an imp like profound impression upon my heart. They've shaped and molded me into who I am now as a believer and they've changed how I coach. And what I love most about what I get to do is how I get to see these women take flight. I didn't, like when I look back, like even just as I'm reflecting on my weight loss journey right now in this episode with you, when I look back, I didn't have somebody in my corner when I first set out on my weight loss journey, right? Like when I was hopeless, when I was depressed and perpetually succumbing to my circumstances, I didn't have anybody until God. And if you've thought about working with me in the Seekers Method and you are ready to learn how to trust God in your weight loss journey, to learn how to break up with the ways that you perpetually run to food instead of God, if you are ready to understand how to do hard things in all of the areas of your life so that you can live in the fullness of your faith, then I encourage you, run to my website and enroll in the version of the Seekers Method that best suits your life. If you're like, if you're just not even sure which version of the program to select, send me an email, coachcapilla at gmail.com. Let me know that you are considering the seekers method, but you're just not sure where to start or which one works for you. Tell me a little bit about your circumstances and I would be so happy to help you pick the one that works for you right? I'm so happy. I love getting emails from people who listen to my podcast. I would even put together a unique and special prep package specifically and uniquely for you. And so, you know, while I can't show you my total transformation, I can encourage you through yours. I encourage you to apply scripture to your life, specifically these scriptures, right? Um, the scriptures that come to mind are Matthew 6, 33, Romans 12, 2, James 4, 17, 1 Corinthians 10, 13, Philippians 4, 13. I, I just encourage you to seek first the kingdom of God, to partner with him and understand that you will need to renew your mind as you are strengthened in your spirit and to start like really just releasing the ways that you have conformed to the wrong patterns. Partner more completely with him through a life of righteousness, right? Where you just keep making right choices, where you perpetually do what is right, even when, especially when the wrong choice is available. And you do that through Christ who strengthens you. Expect that your transformation is on the other side of you perpetually doing in faith what you know you should do versus doing in your flesh what you just repeatedly want to do. So when you notice yourself being tempted to do what you know you shouldn't do, go to God. Trust that he will show you a way out so that you can endure even in weight loss. Hey, real quick, I forgot. I was going to tell you, I was going to share with you in a little clip, an audio clip testimonial from one of my clients during one of our recent Thinner Circle group coaching calls. So you'll hear that next. You'll get to hear how, just how amazing God is. All right, here you go. When, you know, one of the things I wanted to share, I was telling Sherry, you know, I, my weight kind of stayed stagnant. You know, it was stalled, couldn't shed anymore. I was between five pounds, gaining back five pounds, losing five pounds losing and there was a certain number that I would not go down below and Sherry and I had a conversation you know and one of the things she was always pushing us you know you got to give up dairy which was really 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 hard for me and nuts you know for me that was my go-to and the weight has been coming off so you know right now in total I've lost 57 pounds mm -hmm. I'm going through my closet Okay. So there you have it. That's her testimonial. 57 pounds. And we in January of 2024 will just enter our one year of working together. Um, well, that's not true. I think we started working together technically in November of 2023 because she did the comeback and then she did the seekers method. If you are interested in doing the comeback, you can still do it with me. Um, 
So just visit my website or send me an email because it's it's so hard for me to keep up with all of the things that God is doing in my business for me to have my website team to always upload those things. You know what? I'll put it in the show notes for you. All right. I hope this episode of the podcast has encouraged you to stay the course even in weight loss.